this is the new stair, okay. and it it will go right up to the property line. Oh. Uh, point okay. Okay. Dogs. Okay. There is an appendage there at Moon Dogs that has to be addressed, but, um, okay. but it will be on our property, on on your property. Our yeah. property and it will yeah. be right up to the property line. There's no required setback no. in the ordinance yeah. for the side yard. Yeah. That's all enclosed. Anything in. commercial Correct. is uh, you can build from line to line on the side. We know that. So you will be, this this bump out will be right up to the property line on Moondog's side. Okay. It'll be about 10 feet from yeah. the building on this side. Okay. It doesn't show on this drawing, but yeah. it shows on the site drawing that they go over with. I have it right here. So I'm going to ask Ben to come up, talk about the site plan, and then we'll answer any questions that you have. Plus or minus 10 feet. I mean, it could be 11. Yeah, the proposed site plan is already mentioned. Um, Ryan mentioned that we are code compliant with the zoning. The access points will be as they are now along Freeport Road and Pine Street and Freeport Road for the fire department in Pine Street so the police department on that and the maintenance equipment. Now, as far as what's existing right now on the site, um, we will have to do some activities to demolish um, the salt shed, relocate, and then um, utilities, storm drainage, electric will have to be relocated uh, for starlight and for a new tap in for the uh, proposed addition. The, um, you see here the handicap ramp that's currently located um, right outside will be shifted um, east along Freeport Road and we will put in a diagonal crosswalk to the opposite side handicap ramp. So uh, as far as site amenities and accessibility across the street, we will remain that. And, um, As far as grading goes, there will be minimal site grading because the building takes up the uh, majority of the lot. So there will be very minimal site grading. Uh, there will be fine grading that ties to the Freeport Road and Pine Street. And then utilities. We have the utilities worked out. Uh, most of the utilities will be new service lines that will tie into the existing service lines. And then uh, the gas will actually, as we know right now, will use will tie into the existing building structure. That's, that's a real quick review of the site plan. This is a, a pretty simple site. Um, right now we can open the floor up for questions or... Let me add a couple quick things. Sure. Uh, any utilities that are being replaced with new services are being replaced because these services were put in in 1935, 39, and uh, Obviously, the, your uses exceed those service capacities now, especially with this addition. Uh, I made a comment with regard to code. Um, there are a lot of things in this building that don't meet current code, but that's simply because it was built and renovated prior to the current code being put in place. Um, if you were to do no project, you wouldn't have to touch the building. You'd be grandfathered in. But because we're doing a project of a certain significant size, you require to bring the whole building up together. Yeah. So we will be we will be addressing it that way. We'll be at that way. Yes, we'd be happy to take any questions now. Uh, as far as the law is concerned, uh, you don't have much choice on that, do you? You don't have any. On <laughs> 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 uh, on on bringing the building up together. And you wouldn't want to do that anyway. I think that we want the building to be safe. <laughs> Are, are people start off with a couple questions? Or just, okay. well, I'll start off with a couple questions. Okay. Uh, you mentioned about the front doors of the uh, fire department being all glass. Yes. Did you check with the fire department on that? Um, or is that your assumption? That's been reviewed with them. They've seen it. Uh, uh, there wasn't a specific request, but typically, typically fire departments okay, like I'm, I'm just. It could be plexiglass, right? Is it swimming glass or? Glass. Yeah, it'll be whatever the glass type that's in the standard overhead doors. I don't know exactly what type that is right now, but I can get that cut yeah. for them to review. Are you worried about the durability of it? Is yeah, the durability issue? and whether or not they really want total glass. I'll confirm that with them. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that's a good question. Then, uh, 
in viewing the plans that were given to me. Uh, I, I understand they're small. <laughs> yeah. I was able to find the administrative offices. I found the police chief's office. I didn't find the fire chief's office. The fire chief's office is on the work in the first floor. Point right out to you. Don't use your small site. Well, in the drawing, look at this drawing here. Too bad there. No, I know where the police. I find the police chief. Okay. I'm talking about the fire chief. The fire, fire, chief, the the fire chief doesn't have a specific, a, a dedicated yeah, they got a work area. And they got a meeting room. And that was not a request in their program for a dedicated office. If that's a change, then uh, no, it just, they never communicated that to us. But they gave us a very specific program of spaces, and it wasn't. Mm -hmm. it wasn't that could be easily. Well, this, this, I'm, I'm just thinking of all, this, all this the new laws and stuff are coming in now. They to the chief, chief yeah. staff. That's what we expected that that yeah. space would be, basically, was the chief staff. Mm -hmm. the room. Mm -hmm. That's where their communication equipment <coughs> will be. 